G'day, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Rod. You've joined the Pedal Picassos. If it's your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. Today, um, I'm going to show you the Moskai Moski Moskai um, M SA. The M SA. So, uh, no prizes for guessing. That's their amp in a box take on a Mesa. Mesa Boogie, not sure what type. Um, I'll just plug the, uh, the the Les Paul here into it. Les Paul uh, with no pedal on, straight into the door, dull lifeless. And let's kick this in the guts. It's very muff like. Um, in quality. I had it clean and I'll, I'll just dial back to noon. Once again, this, uh, this series of Moskai Amp in a Box pedals um, are identical in their knob layout. So across the top you've got low, mid, high, EQ, and then across the bottom you've got level, voice and drive. Um, to try and get a clean tone out of these, bring the drive back, the level up, Voice is the huge character here. And you, you can sort of hear that resonant frequency. And it does increase the breakup that you get the more you dial it in. EQ on this one is really different to the others. Like, They've all got tremendous amounts of um, cut and boost across their frequency range. But the real jangle doesn't sort of kick in until you're at three o'clock. Mids, you can go for scoop mids if you want. All the, way, all the way around to a cardboard box. So we'll dial that into taste in a second, I think. We'll see what the bottom end does. So you can hear that dialing in. Somebody does you dial in an amp, um, you listen to how this control affects the tone. And really where you might find the sweet spot. And the same with your mids. So then we've got a, a fairly clean, fairly clean tone. And certainly uh, Mesa Boogies are capable of very clean tones. Uh, high, they're generally high headroom amps, generally high power too. Um, of course Mesa, Mesa, Mesa Boogie, oh please correct me, um, M-SA amps. Uh, they build amps from 100 watts down to, in guitar amps, valve, tube, um, down to very low wattage ones, 20 watts um, and 15s, I think they do. But let's, let's see what this does when you wick it up. Right, here we go. Straight away, it's introducing a sort of a fuzz. Back off the voice a bit to see what tones you can get.
and the voice is almost like post EQ gain. Because the the gain becomes, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it logarithmically adds to the gain to give you a lot more overdrive when you wind up the voice. And that's the voice all the way around. We'll bring the gain up as well from three to as far as we go. I know I've tried a couple of different um, brands out that do this, that do their take on the on the Sans Amp, the Tech 21 Sans Amp amp in a box. So the Joyos, Moss guys, I've tried the Horse brand. Horse got sort of very unstable at high gain. A um, lot of squealing just in the circuit itself, not, not feeding back on the guitar. I've got that wicked right up, the voice and the drive. There'll be a lot of noise when I switch this on. There we go. Uh, so I'll back off the gain. Let's go back into some usable rock tone territory. back I might just try it with a strat when I click my fingers a, a magic stratocaster will appear Right, here we go. Let's see how it sounds with a strat. So it's 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 got a, it's got a tone to it. Um, with the Moskai series of these amp in a box pedals, uh, I've I've AB'd them against uh, the Joyo ones. For me, the Joyo ones have got some other factor, whether it's a little bit more headroom or something. I don't know what it is. It's a slightly different tone, slightly different character, and it's something that feels a bit better to me. Um, the gain on this, the voice of the gain. Uh, is a little bit too soft and fuzzy for my liking. But I can get a you know edge of breakup tone that I could use. So it's, it's got usable tone, there's no doubt about that. Does it sound like a messer? I don't know, I'm not like being it against one, but there's a tone in my head when I think of plugging into a Mesa Boogie 
um, but it may, may not be close to this. I don't. For me, it's not. Um, most of the others, the ones that emulate the, the AC30, the, the Marshall and the Fender, at least you, got, you can go, oh yeah, 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 that, that's, that's, you can get some tweed sound out of that. Um, you get a sort of a blues deluxe sound out of this one. AC tone voice character, I can hear that. And then the, the Marshall ones do have that, um, that EQ or that voice that sounds like there's a, a, th a thumping uh, quad underneath a you know, 100 watt head. But... This is this is usable for sure. If you were to if somebody were to give you this and say, "There you go, that's all you've got to um, plug into tonight," uh, you could run your pedals in front of it if you like. I think you could get away with it. I think you could absolutely. Um, let us know what you think. Tune in. Uh, drop a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Cheers.